Okay, this is Dr. B, and we're gonna solve the problem. 3.2 moles of Cl2. We wanna know how much NaCl will be formed, how many moles of NaCl will be formed. So we have 3.2 moles of Cl2, and we don't know how many moles we have of NaCl. So really it's a mole to mole problem. That's what we're trying to find. So to solve this, we need to know the ratio of these substances here. We need to balance the equation. That'll give us the ratio. So if I put a two here, that gives me two chlorines. That balances the two chlorines, two sodiums. So let's put a two here. So this is balanced. And now we have a two to one to two ratio. Let's write a one in there. It's normally not written, but this will help us see it. Two to one to two. And we could just set a ratio up. 3.2 to the one here equals x to the two. When we solve for x here, we end up figuring out how many moles of NaCl we have. So that's the quick way to do it. Here's the way your teacher probably wants you to do it. It's the same thing, it's just a little more detailed. And you get the same answer. So let's try that. So we start out with our 3.2 moles of chlorine and we multiply by what's called a mole ratio. The way we set our mole ratio up is we want moles to be on top and on the bottom so they'll cancel out. And you can think of this as 3.2 over one moles of Cl2. So now when we multiply, the moles are gonna cancel out. We're gonna be left with moles of NaCl. That's what we want. The two to one ratio, that's what we found up here. Two moles of NaCl to one mole of Cl2. So we get this mole ratio here from the balanced equation, from the coefficients. And that's the only time we're using the coefficients here in the process is for our mole ratio. 3.2 times two divided by one, 6.4 moles of NaCl. And that's what you would have gotten for the earlier process as well. This is probably a good way to learn to do it, but the other way is quick, nice way to check your work. If you needed to know the number of grams of NaCl, you could just multiply 6.4 moles times the molar mass for NaCl. That would give you grams. This is Dr. B figuring out when we have 3.2 moles of Cl2, how many moles of NaCl are formed. Thanks for watching.